Module 9, Chapter 7.2, Solution of Linear Systems in Three Variables. Consider an equation with three variables. It would be of the form ax plus by plus cz equals d, where a, b, c, and d are real numbers. Therefore, the variables would be x, y, and z. The solution to such an equation would look like an ordered pair, but it would have three parts, x, y, z, known as an ordered triple. The graph of an equation in three variables would be a plane in three-dimensional space. To solve a system of three equations in three variables, the first thing we're going to do is choose two of the equations and eliminate any variables. Let's call this new equation star. Choose two different equations and eliminate the same variable. Let's call this equation star star. At this point, you should have two equations with two variables each, star and star star. Perform the elimination method on these two equations to get two of the values. Then substitute these two values into any of the original equations. Solving this will give you the third value. Remember to write your solution as an ordered triple. So for the first one, they all have an x and a y and a z. Just looking ahead, on the x's we've got all different coefficients, but on the y's we've got positive 1y, negative 1y. The z's are all positive. Now if you keep in mind we're going to use elimination, that means we're going to be looking for opposites. So what we might want to do is consider doing y, and we've got a positive y and a negative y in the first two. So what we're going to do is we are going to choose equations 1 and 2, and we are going to eliminate the variable y. Well, when we add the first two equations together, because we've already got opposites, we would get x, the y's cancel, plus 2z is equal to 10. Okay, now we're going to call this equation star. Now we've got to choose two different equations. Well, we know we've got to choose equation 3. Well, it's got a negative y. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to choose equations 1 and 3 because those are already opposite y's. Now in this one, we don't have a choice. We must eliminate the same thing as we did in the first two. But adding the first and the third equation together, we would get 5x plus 2z is equal to 18. Now this is our equation star star. Now do you see what we've got? We've got a system of two equations with two variables. So let's apply elimination method on those two. So now the question is, do we eliminate x's or z's? Well, we've got 2z and 2z. What we need is 2z and negative 2z. So let's just go through here and let's multiply the whole second equation by negative 1. So we get x plus 2z equals 10. There's our first equation. The second equation, when we multiply by negative 1, we get negative 5x minus 2z is equal to negative 18. Adding those two equations together, we get negative 4x. Notice the z's cancel is equal to negative 8. Divide both sides by negative 4, and we get x is 2. Now, taking this back into one of our little star equations, I think what we'll just go right up here to this top one, we get 2 plus 2z is equal to 10, minus 2 minus 2, so we get 2z is equal to 8, or z is equal to 4. Okay, notice we've got our x and our z, we just need to find y. So we go back into one of our original equations, doesn't matter which one as long as there's a y in it. So if we go up to the first and we get 2 times x, but we said x was 2, plus y, plus z, and z is 4, 
and that's supposed to give us 9. So that says 4 plus y plus 4 equals 9, 8 plus y equals 9, subtracting 8 and we get y is 1. So what we are proposing is x is 2, y is 1, and z is 4. And then we just need to check it. 2, 1, 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. It works there. If x is 2, y is 1, z is 4, this becomes negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Works there. Then in the last one, 2, 1, 4, 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. Works there. Now remember, it has to work in all three of the original equations in order to be a solution. Okay, now what about this one? This one's a little bit different because we do not have an x and a y and a z in all of them. Well, let's say we pick, what do you want to pick? We've got two x's, they're both positive. We've got two y's, they're both positive. And we've got two z's, they're both negative. So we do not have opposites. Okay, so let's just pick. Let's pick equations 1 and 2, and let's eliminate x. So we are going to choose 1 and 2, and we are going to eliminate x. x, and we'll leave a spot for the y, minus z equals 2, and x plus y equals negative 3. So in order to get x opposite, we're going to multiply either one by negative one. It doesn't matter which one. So we get negative x plus z equals negative 2. The second one stays the same. x plus y equals negative 3. Adding those two together, the x's cancel and we get y plus z equals negative 5. This is our equation star. Now the second side of that is, now we've got to pick two different equations and eliminate x. Well, this is sort of one of those special cases. If you notice, we've not used equation 3 yet, and it doesn't even have an x. So this one is going to become equation star star. So what we've got is x plus z equals negative 5, and y minus z equals 1. This is our two equations with two variables, and we're going to find y and z. Well, we've already got opposite z's, so when we add those, we get 2y equals negative 4, or y equals negative 2. Plug that back into one of those, and we get negative 2 plus z equals negative 5, plus 2 plus 2, so we get z is equal to negative 3. Now we've got to find x. So we go back into one of our original, original equations. Doesn't matter which one we pick as long as it's got an x in it. So if we go back into this first equation, we would get x minus a negative 3 equals 2, which means x plus 3 equals 2. Subtracting 3 gives us x equals negative 1. Just to show you what would have happened if we would have picked the second equation, x plus y, but y is negative 2, is equal to negative 3 plus 2 plus 2. Either way, we still get a value of x is negative 1. So our solution would be x is negative 1, y is negative 2, z is negative 3. Now to check it, remember we go back into all three of the original problems, plug it in. If it works in all three, then it's a solution. Now we're going to be solving systems like these on our graphing calculator in the next couple of sections. So try a few, make sure you get the hang of it, and just remember your solution must work in each of the original equations. Now, a couple of word problems real quick. The perimeter of a triangle is 59 inches. 
the longest side of a triangle is 11 inches longer than the medium side, and the medium side is 3 inches more than the shortest side. Find the length of each side. Well, we could start out and say, okay, here's our triangle. Let's do shortest side. Let's do A, B, and C. The shortest side will be X. The medium side, let's call that B, the medium side is 3 inches more than the shortest side. So that's going to be X plus 3. And then the third side would be the longest side is 11 inches longer than the medium side. So that would be X plus 3 plus 11. And we know that the perimeter is 59 inches. Okay, so we know that X is equal to A, B is equal to X plus 3, C is equal to X plus 14. Now remember that perimeter of a, rec of a triangle is A plus B plus C, so we can do this one sort of substitution. P is 59, A is X, B is X plus 3, C is X plus 14. So we get 59 equals 1x plus 1x plus 1x would be 3x plus 17. Subtracting 17 from both sides, we get 42. Divide both sides by 3, and we get 14. So now we substitute it back. If x is 14, that means a is 14. B is X plus 3, which would be 17, and C would be 14 plus 14, which is 28. So the sides of our triangles would be 14, 17, and 28. Now you're ready to complete this section of homework on my math lab.